Welcome back to Blue Spoys, everybody. Welcome back. V and I grabbed a couple brewskis for uh, some more Pokemon Shining Pearl, and I just wanted to say cheers, my friend. Cheers. Let me go ahead and um. Will you do the thing? Reach all the way across the country right now. <laughs> cheers, brother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't know why I like almost spit out my beer and I didn't want to like ruin my microphone. So I like had to, oh God, that hurt, bro. Uh, yeah, that happened to me with water, I think yesterday. Oh my God. You're just too funny, my guy. Uh, all right. Well, this... I mean, sometimes when you're stretching your arm all the way out to Kansas, you know. <laughs> all right. We don't live in Kansas, by the way. That's just the middle of the country. So, yeah. Uh, all right, this is you, bro. Go ahead. Oh fuck, I forgot the voice. Uh, it's something like, "Finally, uh, finally, you've come, Don." Was it like something like that? No, you sound like a posh Englishman. Fuck you, bro. Like a young posh Englishman. Just, just, just pull it. You got this, bro. You can do this. Finally, you've come, Don. Was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. Yeah, that's about right. We'll roll with it. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty then. I'll give that Chimcha to you as a gift. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? Fuck, I'm rolling into the posh, dude. No, I mean, I like it. I like it. He's because, I don't know, I like it. Alright, do we want to name him something stupid? <laughs> Let's name him Miller High Life. Oh my god, Miller. How about Chimpy? I like Miller. I I like it too. You, lowercase or uppercase? All upper. Alright. Are we gonna do like Xbox Live back in the day and do a one and a three? <laughs> no, stop it. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Alright, and then I'm gonna like take you really far back. Remember this? I, that's what I thought you were gonna do, but you, it's X capital X. Are you sure? No, no. Yeah, it's <laughs> X capital X. I'm just gonna do normal Miller. I feel like a D bag to our. This like we're like right in front of the professor, and he's like, "I'm gonna gift this very special thing to you. Don't f it up." We're drinking like beer, and then naming the Pokemon after the beer, and then. <laughs> <laughs> do you like it like this or all caps, bro? That's fine. Yeah. Or oh, oh, I'm, I'm throwing right now. I think you've had too much to drink. I've had like two sips of beer, bro. What say you, bro? I say no. I have. We've already said no. <laughs> Fine, but you like normal case as opposed to uppercase. I mean, I kind of like uppercase. I'm down for uppercase. Mm, it, what does it look like on the bottle? I'm looking at the bottle right now. Oh, it's uppercase then lowercase. Yep, run the lowercase, bro. Alright. I wish I could do cursive. That would be sick. Mm, is there such a thing? No. Nope. Beastly, Beastly Miller XXX. <laughs> <laughs> and you're happy hmm. with that nickname? Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Yes. I am. God. Your friend Tommy told me what happened at the lake. I heard you battled very well despite it being your first time. And from what I can see, there's a growing bond between you and that Pokemon, though it is still young. That's why I'd like to trust and trust you with Chimcha. His name's Miller! <laughs> <laughs> Am I ever glad you're kind toward Pokemon? If you weren't, well, I don't even want to think about it. I'd have to take you into the back alley. I swear to and Christ. And teach you a lesson. <laughs> You'd never get near another Pokemon again. <laughs> you couldn't even throw a poking ball. You're gonna wish that you weren't even fucking born. <laughs> Let's move on to the main topic. <laughs> <laughs> there is something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. 
To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to recall data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? I'm like, dude, I'm 10, bro. But okay. Am I being paid? <laughs> <laughs> That's... Hmm. Good answer. God, every game we play, we're just being asked to do, like, ridiculous sh bro. Yeah. It's insane. That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. And if you lose it, you'll owe me 50,000 bells. <laughs> Don, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got the same kind of Pokedex as you. When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? This is like really serious. <laughs> yeah, like, oh my god. <laughs> I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with Pokemon. I've lived for 60 long years. I've seen some shit. <laughs> now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go! He's like, get the hell out! I'm trying to drink my tea. Dawn. Your grand adventure begins right now. Lucas and I have scheduled sex. Lucas, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> the professor asked me to help, so I'm going to go out and fill the Pokedex. Po poke. Ugh. That makes us <laughs> comrades working toward the same goal. I'll teach you stuff later. Okay. I'm out of here. So Lucas is a psychopath. Go on. <laughs> Just fucking get out of here. <laughs> professor Rowan invented a new Pokédex while working alongside a professor. Professor Oak, I presume. I'm Lucas's father. I'll be Boy, happy am to I sorry for you. Quest for the professor. Uh, I'm sure we can count on you. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. I need another drink of beer. Okay. Hey, Don, I want to show you a few things, if you know what I mean. So follow me. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. You can get your Pokemon healed if it's been hurt in battle. You'll find a Pokemon Center in most towns. Over here, the building with the blue roof is the Pokemon. It's a shop where you could buy and sell all sorts of items. Uh, Don, since you're a rookie trainer, you won't be able to buy very much stuff. Don't worry about it, okay? You can just steal it. <laughs> just get the five-figure discount, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you should let your family know you're helping my daddy. I mean, Professor Rowan put together his Pokédex. You may have to travel pretty far, so you should let someone know. Ah, but first, go hill up your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. You'll be safe then. Okay, be seeing you. Well? Cool. Let's go tell our mom that we're literally gonna- Hey, wait, you gotta heal up at the Pokemon Center oh, first, bro. Yeah, you're right, you're right. You know, I have a question. <sighs> what is it? You know, Pokemon is always very, like, gradual with getting into the game. You know, you start with, like, a level 5 Pokemon, you work your way up through the gyms until you, like, end up around 60 to 70. And, like, you can pretty much beat anything at that level. Uh, sure. And remember in the anime, like, when Ash had Charizard and Charizard was basically like, Look, I don't give a shit what you tell me to do, I'm not gonna listen, because, like, you're not a good enough trainer for me? Yeah. Does that kind of level thing still occur in the newer games? Like, if you have a Pokemon that's super high level, it won't listen to you? Oh, okay. So, this is really interesting, actually. And believe it or not, the anime was super factual, actually. So, what it's talking about is, in the games, if you have a Pokemon and you raise it, it will never disobey you. If somebody trades you a Pokemon... It will disobey you past a certain level unless you have certain amount of gym badges. Um, so people are confused, like, 
Wasn't that Ash's Charizard? Well, no. It was actually somebody else's Charizard first. And, like, the way that it became Ash's Charmander wasn't really, like, a natural progression. Whereas, like, Bulbasaur was, I believe, in the wild or something. And then Squirtle was also kind of in the wild with Squirtles. Charmander was another trainer's Charmander. So that's why he sometimes disobeyed Ash. Until he decided he had mad respect for Ash. Uh, I think when Ash saved his life for again or something? I believe he saved his life somehow. I don't remember how, though. Yeah. Well, he saved his life several times, including the episode he met him. But, yeah. Uh, anyway. So, that's... I don't know if that answered your question, but yeah. Yeah, it does. Basically, like, the only way you're going to end up in that situation is if you trade a Pokemon that's way higher level than you. Right. But here's the trick. If, it, if the Pokemon is breedable, like, if it's not a legendary or anything, you just breed a baby version of it, and it will listen to you. So... Yeah. But wouldn't it be so, like, super low level then? Well, yeah, but then you'd level it up, and then you'd get to choose the moves it has. Ah. Yeah, dude, I'm a big brain boy. Welcome home, Dawn! Are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick rest, dear! Sick. What's up, Dawn? Wow! Professor Daddy, I mean Rowan, asked you to do something that big... Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back, and hopefully Rowan's got mine. Oh, I know, Don. I've got something you'll find useful. Here's a book. That's a guidebook. Take a look at it when you're curious about something or have questions about your adventure. You might find an answer. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I don't know why my husband ever left me. My voice isn't annoying at all. I I'm just joking, Don. I'll be all right by myself, dear. So uh, you go and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy too. But please come back sometimes. I'd like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear. You digging my rendition, bro? You know, I love the voice. I'm not so sure about the ad-libbing. Uh-huh. Excuse me. Is my little Tommy here? Oh, my fucking God. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, and he must have left already. What to do? And this boy... She pops a Valium. That boy shouted about going on an adventure and... And he bolted, so... He's such a dumbass. I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry! Don will deliver that to him! Won't you, Don? Oh, really? You'd do that for me? Don, please take this to Tommy for me. <laughs> she's so haggard and worn down. <laughs> Bro, she's Bye had it. Don! Enjoy your adventure! Let me think. Knowing my boy, he would probably head straight to Jubilife. All right, please take that to that rascal. Bye. Oh, she moved. She kind of got out of there pretty fast. No, oh, Don, you're forgetting something. Your little beanie. That's pretty cute. We're cute. Perfect. Yes, the hat always did suit you well, Don. Now off you go. All right, my dude, we're going to start exploring next time on Blues Boys. Ooh, ooh. Make sure you guys smash the like and subscribe. We're going to be playing through Shining Pearl, obviously. Uh, leave some comments on Pokemon you guys want to see us pick up along the way, and we'll see you next time. Yep, hit it like this. Bye. <laughs>